Are you thinking about quilting? You like the pretty fabrics and the pretty patterns, but you just cannot seem to find the right sewing machine or you are overwhelmed by your options? Hi, I'm Elena. In today's video, we're going to talk about the beginner sewing machine that I started quilting with. I love this machine and I will never get rid of it. I will recommend this time and time again to anyone who is thinking about starting to quilt. Quilting has always been my passion. With years of experience in quilting as a quilter and a quilt pattern designer, I have found that sometimes the most basic machines are the ones that are the best in quilting. They are the most versatile and easy to learn on and easy to take with you on trips. So if you're looking for a sewing machine that is easy to begin with, it's easy to learn, and it will do everything you need it to do for quilting, then this video is for you. But before we get started, remember to click the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below. If you would like a free quilt pattern, check out my website. The links for everything that I'm going to talk about today are going to be listed in the description box below. Let's get started. Next to me, I have two sewing machines. One of them is the one that I started with and the other one is the one that I upgraded to. And we're going to talk about why I upgraded in a little bit, but this machine will always have a place in my heart. So let's go ahead and talk about it. When I first started quilting, I started on this Brother CX-155 Laura Ashley. This is a special edition machine. They no longer make this, but you can find the equivalent machine. And I'm going to link the one that is a step up from this, that is upgraded from this, an updated model um, from this machine in the description box below. Why this machine is great for quilters is the fact that it comes with a variety of stitches. Not necessarily stitches for decorations or buttonholes because this can be definitely used for garment sewing for anybody who is learning how to use a sewing machine. But it also has some specialty quilting stitches and quilting accessories. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. I'm not going to teach you how to use this machine if you do want to know that. Leave a comment in the description box below. Contact me if you have any more questions. Again, this machine is not available for purchase right now, but I will link in the description box below the machine that is compatible, that is the upgrade for this. What's in the market right now that has the exact same features and maybe a few more. So some of the features that I really like about this machine, like I said, is the variety of stitches. It has 99 uh, stitches for decorations, for buttonholes, for quilting, specialty quilting, but it also has uh, alphabet stitches up here. So these um, alphabet stitches I found helpful as a quilter because I could easily label my quilts. I took a square of fabric, I folded it, but having the alphabet stitches here without having an embroidery machine made it really easy for me to label my quilts in the beginning. Another thing that I really like about this machine is the fact that it has a drop and bobbin. A drop and bobbin is easily accessible from opening this tiny little door. So this way, if you are working, say, on a bag or if you're working on a large quilt, generally most sewing machines have bobbins that are accessible through the side. But this one, because it's a drop and bobbin, it's very easy to see. The door is also transparent, so you can, at a glance, see how much thread you have left. And even with this door being transparent and able to see how much thread I have left, I have still run out of bobbin thread while I was sewing and realized about it too late. In addition to that, this machine will also wind your bobbins and it's very easy and effective. Another feature that I really like about this machine that is great for beginner quilters is the fact that all the threading instructions are printed directly on the machine for the top thread and as well for the bobbin. And I will insert pictures here so you are able to see what I'm talking about. Another feature that I really like about this machine that makes that I think it's great, especially for quilters, is the fact that it comes with specialty quilting stitches. So for example, I'm going to zoom in on this so you get to see a little bit better. But for numbers 43, 44, uh, 45, 6, and 47, all the way up to 49, those are labeled as P and Q. The P stands for piecing and Q stands for quilting. So that is when you have your quilt sandwich and you're ready to quilt the top. You are not going to be able to quilt very large quilts on this, but for a baby quilt or even I would push even a twin size, you would be able to completely free motion quilt this or quilt with one of the uh, specialized stitches in here. 
because the throat space, so the distance between the needle and the body of the machine is not too uh, big. So you can't fit too much in here. This is why I upgraded to a FAF performance icon. This is the machine that I use when I want to free motion quilt or when I want more space in that area to allow me to freely work. But that would be oh, an entire new video. Now we're talking about the beginner quilter machine. So the P stitches, uh, the piecing stitches, the reason they are included in here, um, 43 and 44 specifically, is because you do not need a quarter inch foot to be able to stitch, um, to quilt and to piece on this machine. All you would need is the default foot that comes with the machine. So when you select one of the piecing stitches, it will move your needle exactly a quarter inch from the left or from the right of the regular presser foot that the machine comes with. So you can very easily just press a button, select the stitch number that you want for piecing, and you can just never change the presser foot that you have. A very convenient feature of this machine is the fact that it comes with a needle threader. So after you have threaded the top of the machine, which is labeled on exactly how to thread it, the needle threader is just this lever that comes down with a little hook over the machine and it will pull the thread on the other side of the machine. Um, another feature that I do like on this machine is the fact that you don't necessarily need a foot pedal. It just has a button that you can press and this button is going to uh, automatically start your sewing machine and you can press the button again, your sewing machine will stop. I have put this machine through a lot. I have made bags, I have made pouches, zipper pouches, I have sewn through zippers, I have sewn through metal accidentally, but it has been through a lot and it's a workhorse. Next I want to talk to you about the base plate. This is very easy to clean because the base plate is comprised out of two components, so you can very easily take half of it off without using a screwdriver and use your brush to clean inside. Next I want to talk to you about free motion quilting on this machine. For quilter's convenience, this sewing machine comes with an extension table. So the accessory box easily slides off. The extension table is collapsible and adjustable. So it has three feet and these three feet have um, tiny little uh, adjustable pegs. And it easily slides on, giving you a larger work surface. I really like the fact that it comes with an extension table because it allows me to free motion quilt. When I'm free motion quilting, I can very easily hold both my hands on top of this extension table. And this way I don't have to have a specialized sewing machine table where this can be embedded into. But if you do have a sewing machine table, this machine will fit right through because it is a very good size. This particular machine weighs about 14 pounds. The upgrade for it that is available on in the stores right now is about 10 pounds so it's a great size and a great weight sewing machine to take with you on the road. Even though I do have a more specialized the much more professional sewing machine I still like to travel with this one because it fits into my bag. It fits actually in a cooler bag and I can very easily lift it without too much strain. The accessory box for the machine has a pretty large capacity. Not only do, does it come with a lot of accessories specialized for quilting and um, garment making, but it also has enough space for you to put any other additional feet that you're going to purchase. One of the accessories that I really like that this machine comes with, which makes it a quilting machine, is the a walking foot. This walking foot has feed dogs on the top, so along with the feed dogs on the bottom is going to help you pull those bulky layers of your quilt through the machine without creating drag on the top. So this comes in very handy if you're trying to quilt your quilt yourself without taking it to a long armor. And for example, say you want to stitch straight lines. Your, it's a very simple design, but believe it or not, uh, stitching straight lines at equal distances apart is quite difficult. It's not an easy task. Some people like to mark their quilts using marking pens. Some people like to use uh, painter's tape and mark their quilts that way. But this machine actually comes with a guide. And this guide inserts into the walking foot itself and you can adjust it at whatever distance you want from the needle. 
So you will stitch your first straight line on your quilt and then you're going to place this guide onto the line that you just stitched at whatever distance you want from the needle. Say you want them two inches apart, then you will put this two inches away from where your needle will be. And you can just guiding this over the stitch line that you have just stitched, you can very easily maintain that equal distance throughout your quilt. And you can very easily quilt an entire quilt just with straight lines by using these two accessories. Another accessory that is great for quilters for this machine is a free motion foot. This free motion foot only works if you're able to lower the feed dogs on your machine. And this particular one does have a button on the back that will drop your feed dogs. The reason you want those feed dogs dropped is so that you can have the free room, nothing will snag on the bottom of your quilt. And that's what makes it a free motion quilting um, machine. Another accessory that this machine has is a spool holder. This spool holder will attach right on top of your bobbin. So you can use a vertical spool of thread if you wish, or if you wish the horizontal one, just unfold this and you will have it here. But because sometimes when we're sewing at high speeds, the spool might bounce around. It also comes with three different size spool caps that you can attach onto your spool on top of your spool or sideways onto the machine if you want this to be stable. Because this machine is great for garment makers, it also comes with an auto-sized buttonhole presser foot. I know it looks a little bit weird, but what this uh, presser foot does is me it measures the size of your button and it will stitch your buttonhole to match that particular button. And it can also sew buttons with a button foot. I really like the number of accessories that this machine comes with because it gives you a great versatility on the things that you can do. Um, in addition to the regular uh, screwdriver and cleaning brush that it comes with, I think that this machine or any upgrade from this model number, it is perfect for beginner quilters. Because of the many features this machine comes with, I think that this is a perfect starter machine for anybody who's thinking about starting to quilt. This is 2024 when I'm making this video. So right now the equivalent on this is somewhere a little bit under $250. So it's a great starter machine for the features that it has and the power that it has. I think this machine will last you for many, many years. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow quilters. And if you'd like a free quilt pattern and behind the scenes speaks, sign up for my email newsletter. The link is below. If you have any questions over anything that I talked about today, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you would like to join my free community for busy moms, for busy quilters, check out So Modern Moms group on Facebook. Until next time, keep those machines sewing, embrace the wonky seams, and most importantly, have fun. Happy quilting.